Meteorologist Tim Armstrong here with your climate outlook across eastern North and South Carolina for the winter of 2023 and 24. For the first time since 2019, El Nino has returned and should be the dominant climate factor affecting our weather this winter. El Nino is a natural warming of ocean water across the tropical East Pacific Ocean that brings global changes in temperatures, winds, and rainfall. El Nino's biggest influence here in the Carolinas is typically an increase in winter rainfall amounts. Wilmington's heaviest three-month winter rainfall on record, 23.34 inches, occurred during the strong El Nino of 1997 and 98. Significant flooding occurred on the Waccamaw, Pee and Lumber Rivers that winter. Outlooks for this winter suggest very good chances for above normal rainfall, which should help to improve or even end the moderate to severe drought conditions that have developed across the Carolinas over the past few months. Temperatures tend to run a little cooler than normal during winter El Ninos, but this effect is rather small. Now the big question for this winter is, will it snow? Since 1950, exactly 50% 50 of El Nino winters have produced measurable snow, that is 0.1 inches or more, as measured in Wilmington and Florence. However, some significant snowstorms have occurred during El Ninos locally, including in February 1973, when a record 17 inches of snow fell in Florence, South Carolina. It takes a rare combination of cold air with an offshore storm track to get significant snow here, but El Nino might help provide such a scenario this winter. El Nino shifts the main storm track southward and brings additional moisture across the region through an amped up subtropical jet stream. Two-thirds of all snow in Wilmington historically has fallen during the months of January and February. We've got additional details on this winter's climate outlook available on our webpage. Go to weather.gov ILM to read more.